everyone, in this video let us discuss the Mathematics Grade 6, Quarter 2, Module 1, Relating Fraction and Ratio. Lesson 1, Expressing one value as a fraction of another given their ratio and vice versa. So in this video we are going to discuss uh, all about this lesson. So let's move directly to what is it. We can draw a model to show the number of fruits Raymond bought. So avocados, we have three boxes. Mangoes, we have eight boxes as being represented. The ratio of the number of avocados to the number of mangoes Raymond bought is 3 is to 8. As you can observe, it is being stated that the ratio of the number of avocados to the number of mangoes Raymond bought. Therefore, 3 avocados is to 8 mangoes. This ratio can also be written as a fraction. So in the numerator is the number of avocados. In the denominator is the number of mangoes. So therefore, 3 eighths or 3 all over 8. Meaning the first quantity of the ratio is the numerator which is 3. And the second quantity of the ratio is the denominator which is 8. The number of avocados is 3 eighths or 3 over 8 of the number of mangoes. The ratio of the number of mangoes to the number of avocados Raymond bought is 8 is to 3. In this case, the ratio of the number of mangoes to the number of avocados Raymond bought. There are 8 mangoes is to 3 avocados. If you're going to represent it by fraction, so 8 over 3. The number of mangoes is 8 all over the number of avocados which is 3. The number of avocados is 8 over 3 of the number of mangoes. Okay, this is this is uh, wrong, this is a mistake. This, this should be the number of mangoes is 8 over 3 of the number of avocados. Again, this is a uh, error. This should be the number of mangoes is 8 over 3 of the number of avocados. Here are examples. Ribbon A is 5 meters long. Ribbon B is 4 meters long. So this is being represented by, uh, by tiles or boxes. So as you can see, ribbon A and then ribbon B. The ratio of the length of ri ribbon A to the length of ribbon B is 5 is to 4. Because uh, 5 meters is to 4 meters. Let us observe. It is being stated that the ratio of the length of ribbon A, so ribbon A, which is 5, is to 2 the length of ribbon B, which is 4. So 5 is to 4. Total length of the two ribbons is equal to so we are going to add 5 meters plus 4 meters is equal to 9 meters. So express the length of ribbon A as okay again express the length of ribbon A as a fraction of the total length of two ribbons. Length of ribbon A is the 
uh, numerator and then total length of the two ribbons is 9 because it is being stated here that express the length of ribbon A as a fraction of the total length of the two ribbons. So the numerator should be length of ribbon A and then the denominator is the total length of the two ribbons. So 5 is the length of ribbon A all over 9 is the total length of the two. The length of ribbon A is 5 ninths or 5 over 9 of the total length of the two ribbons. So in this case, it is being uh, uh, asked that what fraction of the total length of the two ribbons is the length of ribbon B? Again, what fraction of the total length of the two ribbons is the length of ribbon B. So the numerator is the length of ribbon A and then the denominator is the total length of the two ribbons. So in the numerator, this should be the length of ribbon B. So this is not A. It, it must be the length of ribbon D all over. The, the denominator is the total length of the two ribbons. And then 4 is the length of ribbon B. And then all over 9 is the total length. So 4 ninths or 4 over 9 okay the length of ribbon B so this this is B is 4 ninths or 4 over 9 of the total length of the two ribbons number 2 Ina Aina and Dana save some money from their allowance in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5. So it is represented by boxes or tiles. Ina, 2, Aina, 3, Dana, 5. The amount of money Ina saved is 2 thirds of the amount of money Aina saved. 2 is the numerator in which amount of money Ina saved. Then 3 is the denominator in which the amount of money Aina saved. The amount of money Dana saved is 5 thirds or 5 over 3 of the amount of money Aina saved. So the numerator is 5 in which the amount of money Dana saved. 5. Then the denominator is 3, is the amount of money Aina saved. 3 is the denominator. So 5 thirds or 5 over 3. Total money saved. So we're going to add the money saved by the 3 kids. So 2 plus 3 plus 5 is equal to 10 units. The ratio of the amount of money Aina saved to the total amount of money saved is 3 is to 10. The amount of money Aina saved is 3 is to the amount of money saved if being added 10. So 3 is to 10. The amount of money Aina saved is 3 tenths or 3 over 10 of the total amount of money saved. The ratio of the amount of money Dana saved to
So the total amount of money saved is 5 is to 10. 5 is the amount of money saved by Dana is to 10 is the total amount of money saved by the 3. So 5 is to 10, it is equivalent to 1 is to 2 or 1 half. Because you can uh, make this as fraction, so 5 over 10. So of course, the greatest common factor is 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. Then 10 divided by 5 is 2. So 1 half or 1 is to 2. The amount of money Dana saved is 1 half of the total amount of money saved. Number 3. Sophia's height is 5 sevenths of Arnel's height. So this is presented by this. So Sophia, so 5 tiles or 5 boxes, then Arnel. So this is 7 tiles or boxes. So if we, if we say the ratio of Sophia's height to Arnel's height is 5 is to 7. Again, the ratio of Sophia's height is 5 to is 2 or the colon. Arnel's height is 7. So 5 is to 7. And if we are going to say that the ratio of Arnel's height to Sophia's height, so uh, let's start with Arnel's height 7 to colon or is to Sophia's height is 5. The total height of the two friends is 12 units. So 5 plus 7 is 12. So f meaning to say if we are going to find for the ratio of Arnel's height to the total height of the two friends, so the total ratio of Arnel's height, so Arnel's height is 7, 2 colon or we can say is 2 total height of the two friends is 12 so 7 is to 12 therefore Arnel's height is 7 12 or 7 all over 12 of the total height of the two friends number 4 Brian is 4 times as old as Linda so it is being represented by 4 tiles then Linda is this one so meaning to say the ratio of Brian's age to Linda's age is 4 is to 1 Brian's age is 4 2 colon or is 2 Linda's age is 1 Linda's age is 1 fourth of Brian's age okay because we can uh, the numerator here is Linda's age, unit 1, is 2, Brian's age is the denominator, which is 4, so 1 fourth. Their total age is 5 units, meaning add, we are going to add 5 plus 1 is, no, we are going to add again, 4 plus 1 is 5 units, the total age of the 2. Linda's, Linda's age is 1 fifth of their total age. Linda's age is 1, the numerator, all over 5 is the total age, so 1 fifth. The ratio of Brian's age to their total age is 4 fifth. Brian's age is 4, 2, colon, their total age is 5, so 4 is to 5. 